I have a message for the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto. This message is for you. And I know the people who watch it might share it and reach to you. You need to be very, very careful. Very, very careful. Why am I saying this? This is the word from God. You need to be very, very, very careful. Now, why, why am I saying you need to be careful? There are three things which are going to be affected by your presidency. Three things. And they will be affected so much. It is, uh, number one, the church. The reputation of the church. The image of the church. Number two, you as, as an individual. And, uh, you know, what to do, your businesses. Number three, your family. Your family. So there are three things which are going to be affected by your presidency, which you need to be very careful. Very, very careful. And this is what God is trying to say to you. You need to be very careful. What you need right now is wisdom. I heard that there are so many people who are praying for you. Uh, I just had recently at State House, the first lady has recruited uh, intercessors. They will be interceding at State House. There's a certain room which has been set aside for interceding, which is very good. I like intercessor. I am an intercessor. Now, what I would like to advise to, uh, to advise that the prayers don't pray for the country. Pray for the president. The person who needs prayer is the president, not the country. Why? Because the country is in the hands of the president. So if the president messes up, the country will go down. If the president succeeds, the country will do well. So most prayers must be channeled towards the president. God to give him wisdom. He needs wisdom. President William Ruto, what you need right now is wisdom. Because you're in a very critical position. In a very critical time as this. And uh, uh, what will happen in a presidency? There are two things. You will either be a great president or a worse president. There is no middle ground. You will either do good or you do worse. You want to be an average president. So you will either perform well or you will disappoint people greatly. These are two things which are likely to happen in your presidency. And I pray that you do well. I pray that you succeed. There will be no middle, middle ground. That is average, no average. You will either do well or you will do worse. Hello guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cleo Faswanyama, Cleo with him. And this is Christian Media, where we bring you news, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, gospel music, plus many more. And if you want to donate to this ministry to support us financially, use the information on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. So, you need wisdom. Solomon will, Solomon uh started reigning, he asked God for wisdom. You need wisdom. Wisdom, the Bible says, by wisdom, kings reign and princesses decree. You can only reign by wisdom. Wisdom, how to handle the opposition. You need wisdom. You cannot use the tactics. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not saying you're using. You cannot use the tactics of Jomo Kenyatta in this time. You cannot use the tactics of President Moy in this time. You cannot use the tactics of Kibaki in this time. You cannot use the tactics of Uru Kenyatta this time. This time round, you need to have clear wisdom from above. When it will help you, when without this wisdom, it will be hard. Because how are you going to deal with the opposition? You need to be very careful how to deal with the opposition, how to deal with your enemies. Very careful because one, one wrong move can backfire and, you know, make things go bad. How you make decisions which affect the economy, you need wisdom of the highest order. You need wisdom. Now, the three, how are the three things going to be affected? Number one, I told you the church is going to be affected, the image of the church with the presidency, either good or bad. Number two, your personal life, your businesses. Number three, your family. Now, if you do good, if you become the best president Kenya, Kenya you, will either be, you will either be President William Ruto, you will either be the best president Kenya has ever had, or you will be the worst president Kenya has ever had. There are two things which are likely to happen. And the people who are interceding, I pray that they intercede for you. They intercede for you. They pray for you. They should not pray for the country because the country is in your hands. 
the country is in your hands. It's like a vehicle. You have been given the vehicle. You are the driver. So people should pray for the driver. So that God can guide him on how to drive the vehicle. Because if this country goes bad, it is the leadership. If this country does well, it is the leadership. So it is the president is one who needs prayer more than the country because the hand the country is in the hands of the president. He is the CEO of the church of the, of the country. Now, how is the church? If you do well, number one, the church will be you know because the church are the ones who came out and uh, with the church we say that uh, are, you are a chosen one. Most ministers came and, and gave prophecies that you are the anointed one. Now, if you do well, things will go well for the church. Things will go well for you, even as, as you leave office. You will have a legacy. People will admire you. Even as, as you leave office, you will be respected. People will love you. People will love you, even when your family, your children. You, you, uh, if you do well, you will give an opportunity. You will you, you create a, an opportunity in, in the future for your children also to join politics and become leaders like you, if you do well. And I pray that you do well. But now, if things go bad, number one, the church will be affected. People will hate Christianity. People will say Christians are the ones who are responsible for the problems with their eye. Right now, for, I'm just saying for, for uh, as an example, if as a country we fall into problems because of the leadership of William Bruto, people will blame the church. The church will be blamed. So if William Bruto fails, the church also Will, will, will partake will be part of that failure because people will blame the church and from that time people will be disillusioned people will not hear anything from the church again people will reject prophecies people will reject this church stuff people now it will create an opportunity even for many people to become atheists because people will say how come you told us this president was given to us by God and look at what is happening so, people are judging what the president is, is doing, also based on Christian principles. Because the president, you know, is a, you know, he, he, he's demonstrated publicly that he's a man of prayer, he believes in God. So, people are judging him. Even the corruption, people are saying, I thought that he, he was a born again Christian. Why are you seeing corruption? If there will be extrajudicial killing, I'm just saying, people will ask questions. How comes this guy is a, is a born again believer? So, if anything goes wrong with Ruto's presidency, the church also will bear that burden. And it will be very, it will, be, it will create a very bad image for, for the church. People will be disillusioned from the church. People will say, these issues of church, I don't like them again. So, it's very, very important that. Uh, we pray for President Ruto for God, for God to give him wisdom. Now, if he fails also, once he leaves office, things will, won't be good for him. If he fails as a president, as a president, and he leaves office, things won't be good for him. Things also won't be good for his children. His children might be difficult for them to to not to run any office in this nation. So it is very, very important. That's why I, the message of this uh, video is be careful. He needs to be very careful. He needs to apply wisdom on how he handles issues. There are so many sensitive issues in this country as we are talking now. So he needs a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom. So that he can, you know, he can, um, he can take this nation, you know, to the place where God wants it to be. So wisdom is required of the president because he needs to be careful because if he fails, the church will be condemned. The church will be persecuted. The church will be persecuted if Ruto fails. But if Ruto succeeds, then the church will rejoice. And the church will earn the respect. So it's very, very important. If those who are praying for the uh, intercessors in state house pray for wisdom, what the president needs right now is wisdom. Wisdom, how to deal with, the, with his enemies. He needs to be very wise when dealing with the enemies. Very, very wise. Rational decisions might cost him a lot. He needs to be very wise dealing with enemies. Very wise dealing with opposition. It needs wisdom. Wisdom is what is needed. 
not even force, not even the police, not even the army or what. Wisdom. May God give you that wisdom. May God give you that wisdom, Mr. President. May God give you that wisdom. May God give you that wisdom. The name of Jesus. So that's the message for the president. He needs to be very careful. Very, very careful. His president, his president is not easy. It's not easy. This is the hardest presidency you have ever seen. It won't be easy. And there are two things as I wind up. I emphasize he will either be the best president Kenya have ever had, or he will be the worst president. There is no middle ground. So, how uh, he's going to do it? May God give him grace. May God give him grace. May God give him wisdom. May God give him understanding. So that we may be able to win, to 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 win this country. So guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.